Jeffrey's Hook is a spit of land that bumps out into the Hudson River where Fort Washington once stood. In 1889, a fixed red light on a black post was installed there to warn mariners away from the hook. But the busy river soon required a lighthouse. An iron spark plug style lighthouse originally from Sandy Hook had been disassembled in 1917 and was in storage. It was brought to Jeffrey's Hook in 1921 reassembled and painted red. All was well for a few years until 1927, when a new bridge connecting Fort Lee, New Jersey to Washington Heights was proposed and construction began. The footing for the new bridge was right next to, and in fact, almost directly above the Jeffreys Hook Lighthouse. The George Washington Bridge was completed in 1931. Originally just a single deck, it dwarfed the lighthouse. In 1942, children's author Hildegard Swift wrote a book about the pair called The Little Red Lighthouse and the Great Gray Bridge. The book became incredibly popular, so much so that when the Coast Guard decommissioned the Jeffreys Hook Lighthouse in 1948 and planned to sell it, children from all over the country started a letter writing campaign to save it. In 1951, the Coast Guard agreed and transferred ownership of the lighthouse to the city of New York, where it remains today as part of Fort Washington Park. As for the George Washington Bridge, it was expanded with a second deck in 1962 to accommodate the increasing traffic. Today, the GW Bridge is one of the busiest in the world, but the Little Red Lighthouse remains, tucked up under its feet, a beloved New York City landmark. This history of the Jeffreys Hook Lighthouse and the George Washington Bridge was produced by the Hudson River Maritime Museum as part of the Riverwise project. To learn more, visit HudsonRiverWise.org.